Welcome to my channel. My name is Sarah. If you are new to my channel, I wouldn't even know how to explain my channel. It's a lifestyle, I guess, channel. A little bit of everything. But right now, today, I'm going to show a tour of my master bathroom and explain what we did to update it and to make it our own and our own style and could just spruce it up without spending a lot of money. So here we go. All right, here I am standing at the door. So this is the linen closet and I will do a separate video on the organization that we used in this room. It's working well, but just to not have the video too, too long. Um, this, this is the floor. We didn't change the floor. We didn't change the cabinetry. We didn't change the hardware. We did change the faucets. Um, we did not change the mirror or the lighting. Um, we did not change anything with the bathtub. So basically we wanted to go off of the main detail of the room, which is the floor, which is this really beautiful textured stone tile. And um, so we decided through after kind of debating through a few colors, whether it be, it was kind of down to like gold or the greens to pick up in the, or blues to pick up in the, in the tile here. There's so many different colors and there's like some slate blue. And so we decided on this, what we did do is we decided to decorate around it since we weren't replacing it. We weren't replacing this or the, the countertop because you know, I have four young kids at home and when we decide to like, for example, just because I noticed it last night, when we decide to do like if one of them wants their nails painted, then like all four are in here. And then I just even noticed like last night, I need to clean that up. There's a little bit of nail polish because you know, I can't keep track of all of them. Their nails are all drying. So that's another reason we didn't want to like gut the bathroom and redo it because it's just not the right time in our life for it. So we just wanted to make it our own, redecorate it, and kind of like the uh, the girls' bathroom that I redid. And I'll link that video below as well. So these are some of the things that I have added. Um, like I said, we replaced the faucets. I actually bought this from uh, the previous homeowner and speaking of her, we had, um, we had a chili like cook off in November, uh, not long after we moved in. And I, we became friends, friendly with the lady that owned the house before us. And she actually brought this beautiful orchid to me. Um, while, and not even knowing how much I love orchids. I mean, I just love them. Um, and they bloomed forever, but then they finally stopped. So I cut them where you're supposed to. I cut the sticks and the little clips for when they bloom again, but it's just doing so well. Um, anyway, so let's just start over here then. Okay, so I have my baby orchid. If you follow me on Instagram, you would have seen that this rebloomed. It was quite beautiful. The last bloom fell off yesterday. Um, so it's doing well, I'm just gonna keep going with it. This is a beautiful obelisk I got one year for my birthday, I think. And then um, I just got this at Costco. Isn't that gorgeous? I just wanna fill up my bathroom with orchids. Like that's my long-term goal. And then this, these candles, I have one flanking on either side of the bathtub. They're from, I got them from Bed Bath & Beyond and they're so neat. They're the uh, Luminaras. Let's see, Luminara, they're battery operated. They're on a timer. And so I'll just turn this on even though it's on a timer, let me. Okay. So the first time I saw this type of candle, see the light right there? And then this, the wick that it shines on, the wick, you know, kind of moves around and gives the look of like a real can, a real candle at night. Like at night, they are so, it, they're just really cool. 
And since, you know, all of the girls, I only light my candles when I'm in here in the bathtub. Other than that, I don't, just because with the puppies and the girls, not that the puppies could really get to it. I don't know, it just worries me and I love candles. I've always loved candles and I've always loved to have them in the home, so these were perfect. Now they are a little pricey. I waited until I had coupons, but you know, the first time I saw these, this type of candle was actually at Disney World. You know that shop, I love the shop. It's kind of unnoticed, I think, but there's a, um, there's a shop right at the end of Splash Mountain and they had in their like display case by the cash register, um, little like candle lights. They're almost like string lights, but of that type. And it was the first time I've ever seen anything like that. So the lady like kind of showed it to me like through the case and was like, oh, I love those. I mean, even though it wasn't something they were selling, it was a decor thing. Anyway, I looked them up when I got home and I had been thinking about them for, let's see, since 2015, finally got them. So uh, <laughs> I think, I thought if I'm thinking about this for that long, it's worth it. So um, I, I do have a couple of candles here. This pink sands, oh, it smells so good. And then I have this is actually from, um, that one's Yankee Candle, but this one is actually from uh, Bath and Body Shop and it's lavender vanilla, it smells excellent. And then I have another candle, like I said, over here. Um, this is just, you know, bath stuff. I have Epsom salt in there. I have bath bombs wrapped in, you know, in Ziploc bags. And then I have, this is a new uh, bubble bath that I got from uh, Target. And it smells really nice. Sea Lily Jasmine. I use this as a... Um, hair oil. Usually when I take a bath, I'll put hair oil in my hair, like the ends of my hair. And then, um, you know, and I'll use the Epsom salt with just a little bit, of a few drops of that. And then I'll use a, a mask. And so, you know, while I soak, so I've been using this, you know, lately and it's, it's fairly nice. And then I'll usually get in the bathtub. I mean, get in the shower afterwards to just kind of rinse off and um, you know, I'll like wash my hair and stuff like that. So, um, over here, so that's the entire bath area. Now I didn't put anything like design wise on this wall. In fact, the window here really back up really is just so much. There's a lot of like geometric and mixed metal items in here that I just kind of use the window as an element. We put these sh uh, window shades on and as you can see, I mean to me, I don't know, I think it looks pretty, but over here I did add something that's, you know, kind of hidden, but you see when you're in the bathroom all the way. And this is a shadow box that I got years ago at Hobby Lobby with a black velvet background. And these are all shells that I collected, um, you know, through our trips to the beach. And I just made that. I made that a while ago. That was in our old bathroom, if you remember. So anyway, so that's there. And then, so I'm actually standing in my bathtub right now. But if you look this way, I love these rugs, by the way. I got these from Ikea and they were like nothing. So um, so if you're looking this way, you'll see that I added on either side of our sinks. We both have this lotion and soap holder. I got these from um, Bed Bath & Beyond. They're actually the other version of the soap and lotion holders that I put in my daughter's bathroom. They have like the more traditional style with the oil bronze and then I got the chrome finish because we have a few different like metal finishes in here. I have, you know, this is chrome, that is brushed nickel, this is brushed nickel. I have, you know, shiny like brassy gold there. So I wanted to bring the brassy gold over here and, but with silver on this, and then 
I'll show you that in just a minute more closely, but, and then the gold frame of that. So you kind of get the idea. It's like a mixed situation. I tried to like, um, I tried to space it out like accordingly to where it was pleasing to the eye. And so anyway, so this is, these are our hand towels. We don't really use these. The ones that we use are currently in the wash. They're just little black hand towels. Um, and mine is exactly the same, which is nice because when I show you how we do our, um, you know, organization, that counter space, I mean, it just works perfectly. And I'll, and like I said, I'll do a different video about that. This is an old ottoman that we have. It's leather. It's from Pier 1. Is it from Pier 1 or World Market? Hmm. I think it's from Pier 1. But it is roughed up beyond belief. It is very worn leather. And eventually I will replace this. But this is where I do, you know, my daughter's hair in the morning and... After their bath at night, I put them on this and, you know, lotion them and, um, you know, blow dry their hair. And when I paint their nails, they sit on there. So it's just, this gets a lot of action. I usually have a towel put over it when we're using it. But I'm trying to talk myself into, well, it didn't take that much talking into. For some reason, the distressed leather, I kind of like the look of in here because it's just such an organic, like, vibe the floor is. So when this is out, I don't know, to me it just, it's not bad, it kind of goes. What do you guys think? Am I like talking my in, myself into something that like looks really bad? But anyway, so there's the, there's the ottoman that we use. Then over here, this Scentsy, I love this. I have a new scent in here that I absolutely love. I just got... Uh, the spring and summer scents are out now and oh, so good. And I only put this on at night. Um, it gives off just like pinpoint light and it's perfect. It's not too bright. Um, in the girls' bathroom, I had one of these as well, but I actually moved it and I put the watercolor. I'll have to show you. Um, it's brighter at night. The whole thing illuminates so that they can... It's better for them because they need a brighter nightlight. First of all, it lights up the hallway a little bit. And, you know, if they need to go into the restroom at night, you know, they can find their way around a little bit better. But, okay, now this is so hard to see. <laughs> Let me try to close the blinds more and maybe turn the lights off. Okay, so this was on. Oh, well, that still doesn't work very well. This was on sale at allposters.com. I absolutely love it. It's a Nautilus, and boy, I wish that I could get a better way if I go this way. Okay, that's a little bit better. So what I wanted to do was put just one big statement piece of art, and this worked perfectly because the main focal point is to the left. So if I'm standing here in the middle of, you know, this area looking this way, the weight of the art is right in the middle. Whereas this is still here, more of a, you know, dead space and also it is quite design. It's more color in this area. So I just thought it worked perfectly for balance and then I just have nothing there because you don't need anything. It reflects. It just worked out so well and I got a great deal on it. I got, it was, I don't even remember. It was like $150 off. I got it for a steal. So I just keep looking and looking and looking and I ended up finding that. Let me turn, let me open the window back up. Okay. Uh, one thing that we do plan on replacing is the shower doors and the basin, the base of the shower. Now these, I still have the tags on because I got these at Target and I'm not sure if we're going to keep them. Um, and if we are, I would hang a bar here and have it here because it would be mainly like for display. 
but I just, I don't know. I haven't decided. This is in silver, embroidered in silver, so I thought it would be kind of cute, but I, I don't know. I don't know about that yet. So that's why they still have the tags on. I do a lot of like buying and returning. You just have to try it out at home and then and then see. Don't feel like you have to commit. But um, black, black, both from Bed Bath & Beyond. This is from Ikea. Now let me tell you, I am not a toilet seat cover person. And I decided to do it in my girls' bathroom because I just wanted it to be very plush. But in here, you can probably hear as I'm talking, it is, there is an echo. There's not a lot of plushness in here. And so I did add it, but I wash it regularly. And um, sometimes one of my daughters comes in since, you know, one's there, one kind of sits on the side of the tub when we're doing nails and stuff. So one kind of sits there. It's so much like more comfortable than you know, sitting on the, I don't know, the cold toilet lid. But I did it because mainly like to absorb noise. And I think that it does, you know, look all right. I just wanted black because I wanted it to kind of like fade away all of the towels. There's so much with the art and so much with the, um, like I said, I want to, I want to even add more. I want to do a large orchid right there. But, um, I think that it came together, I think that it came together really well. We both really like it. I'm gonna give you like a pan through real quick. So it's not an overly large bathroom. It's not like a super elegant bathroom. This bathroom to me, I wanted to go for a very like organic vibe and I think I accomplished it. I mean, I'm happy with it. And I think once we get like the new shower doors and the new basin, I'm just gonna do a frosted glass on that uh, instead of like the textured glass that's on there. I think that that will look really nice and maybe even like without a towel bar. Um, I'm not sure, just to make it very streamlined. I just wanted the room to be organic, but very like clean and low cluttered, even though my bathtub area is um, pretty cluttered looking. But we do have a lot of space in this closet here. And we actually have a fair amount of space underneath the sinks. These are not real drawers. They're just, you know, they don't pull. So, um, but this one does and I use it all the time. So next I'm gonna do a video about how, you know, we did the organization in here and what has been working for us. And I should go back to my daughter's bath and that reminds me and like give an update about how their like organizational stuff is, is working because it actually ties in a little bit to how I'm organizing it in here. So what do you guys think? Do you like it? I'm, I'm pretty pumped about it. Uh, and like I said, it was not, this was not an expensive, um, like freshen up update. Um, soap holders, towel holder, I got a Scentsy night light. I've made, I had, you know, uh, that shell art, um, the artwork that hung on the wall that I mentioned paint, the paint, um, and these, and we installed these ourselves. So we didn't have the added cost of that. I actually really like these. These are Moen and they turn and just, I don't know, I really, these are really nice. If you're looking for any, we got these at Lowe's. Um, I can link those below as well. But it was just a nice freshen up and I am, I'm super happy that we did it. 
The only thing that I would really like that would be a little bit pricey in here, besides the shower door in the basin, that's going to be a little bit more. That's why we're waiting. We're, we're saving up for that. Really make like a vision board, have a list, and then save up for it. I mean, you don't want to go into debt over stuff like this. Just save up bit by bit by bit. You'll get there. You'll get there. Um, but the window does not open. And that is one thing that I would actually like to replace that is pricey, so it'll be a while. Um, I need to get some quotes so I know like a budget for it. But in the summertime, taking a bath and being able to like hear, um, you know, just nature outside, I think would be really relaxing and something that I would enjoy. So that's something like long term I would like to change that would be one of the more expensive items. But like I said, I mean, this, the counter, the bathtub, all of that stuff, I'm, I mean, that'll be years before I consider replacing it. I don't even know which direction I would go. If we were to do that, we would probably do the whole thing. You know, the floors, the, the everything. I mean, we might, change kind of the layout of, of this situation. I don't really know. It's not on the on the agenda right now, but thanks for watching my video. I hope, oh, I got kids yelling for me now. I hope you enjoyed it and leave me a comment below if this was helpful at all for you. Give me a thumbs up if you like these sorts of videos. I like to know like what you guys, you know, like to see. So, also, sub subscribe if you haven't yet because ooh, I'm going to be showing a few more videos soon, an update on my office, an office tour, and um, a few other things coming to you, and um, uh, mm -hmm. two bedroom tours as well. Okay, gotta go. Bye. Thanks for watching.